2020 been a hell of a year It's time to sit back, relax, spread some cheer D plus the kid, have no fear It's the most magical time of the year Garland, stockings, hot cocoa Egg knock, Santa in the reindeer Coffee breath, morning walks, that's us though 25 days, that's Vlogmas, baby Baby, Merry Christmas I'm gonna go change because I'm gonna be splatting there in this. What are you gonna wear? Some shorts. In a different shirt. A dark shirt. Vlog time. Peel off time. Visuals. We're having a little fall bowl for lunch before we decorate. That noise was awful. I'm sorry. Peel off. Asparagus. Kale. Corn vegan parmesan all just like sauteed together really yummy little bowl and then we're gonna get to decorate found the magic hat this is gonna have to be what it's gonna be until i get a new clunky claws hat maybe this is just what it's gonna be maybe i'll tie some bows and yarns to it it's pretty legit just got done eating lunch that is like a 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. what do you think it's so good, and like all the different crunches from the corn and the asparagus, and then- We'll call it a fall bowl. A fall bowl is so freaking lit. So- Instead of like a fall salad, it's warm. All right, we're gonna decorate. What can I drink? Ooh, Mmm, nice. Nice side. You gonna share? Yeah. Me? I guess I have to. For five sips. <sighs> Martinelli's. <laughs> Martin. That real, that oh, real, Martin. real, real. Oh man, we need to have those more often. All right, so we're gonna start decorating the house. Everything should pretty much be here. Ooh. We got over a hundred foot of real garland. I feel like this apple juice, like, I feel like apple juice stays really nice and cold. It does. It's so good. It's, that's like a treat right there. All right, we got over a hundred feet of garland. We're just gonna start tackling the house. hundred feet? Yeah. A hundred foot of real garland. What? Is she okay? I don't know. All right, let's crack into it. Should we take down our fall decor first? Or should we just like put stuff on top of it? <laughs> All right, let's get to it. All right, you want to take down the... Okay, no, 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 no. Alexa. All right, here we go. Play. Let's get in the mood. Wait, what should we ask her to play? 80s holiday. Play 80s holiday music. Yeah, 80s Christmas. Let's go! Alexa, turn it up. Okay. Then my second request is let's pick out a picture for the TV. Okay. A holiday picture. And there's Clayton's nice little wetsuit outside. Stunning decor. Nice, nice little surfing towel. But anyways, we're picking out a background or a painting picture, whatever you want to call it at this point in time for our TV because we have the frame TV which I've talked about in the vlog before. Basically it's a TV that you can make look like any picture so it looks like decor when you're not using it. So we're getting a holiday picture up there for starters and then we'll start cracking into the actual decorating. Does it from an app on his phone. There he is. Magic hat and all. And there she is. You like that one? Yeah, are you gonna make it bigger? Yeah. I think I like it. What do you think? That was an old one that we had. It was a little too colorful and like cool tone. This new one that we're doing is Thomas Kincaid, which is actually my grandma's favorite artist. She has a bunch of his paintings, so kind of cute to make her part of this. There she is. Beautiful. A little snowy village. Cute. And a Capital One commercial on the back. Love Capital One. All right, let's crack into the 100 foot of garland. Time for our fall decor to come down. It'll be missed. We didn't have too much fall decor. We have that pillow bit. Oh, yeah, oh. And then we've had a lot of pumpkins, but we had Oh, yeah, the pumpkins. They were away a while ago. 
This was one of our little fall decor. What, are you, what do you call these? What are these? What do you call the little hot dog looking things? Uh, I don't think I'm allowed to say that word. <laughs> yeah, if you know, you know. And wheat. wheat. We have some wheat right here. <laughs> On the mantle, do you want the eucalyptus garland combo? No. You just want the garland? Yeah. And we're gonna do the eucalyptus garland. On the stairs. On the stairs. Yeah. Okay. So I will measure and cut a piece of garland. Okay. I love that. Ow, it hurts to clap like that when you wear a ring. Do you ever so. just like eat lunch and then you're hungry? Yeah, chef cookie. Okay. Cookie time. Twist my arm. Thankful for you. I am the garland man, the garland man, garland man. Here we go. The garland man Let's is get here. To it. <laughs> we're okay. The, top the ones that are nice are the ones that we're gonna use on the table and the door, right? The yeah, wreath. These two are table and door. This one, is the big one over here. Yeah. Is gonna be. I'm gonna use some on there and there. Okay. It already looks stunning. It's gonna be so pretty. Okay. Wait, where, where are you going? I'm gonna cut it out back. Okay. Here, give me that wreath. Should I leave it on this thing? I think so. It's kind of okay. nice. It elevates it a little bit. Okay, yeah. I don't really understand like how to tie this, so I'm just gonna leave it until you look at it. Is that okay? Yeah. That's gonna be nice. Should I actually put this candle over here? Oh my god, that candle is for sure on. Oh my god, really crazy. Can't feel it. I didn't put mascara on today when I put my lashes on. I just did it with men and it looked really weird, so. Alright, so we picked up this little reindeer. It's like a little sleek black reindeer and then it holds the candles at the top. We thought it would be fun on the table. We have a lot of black accents in our house, so I thought it would be a good fit. I like him. OMG, he's so cute. I got the first piece of garland cut for the mantle. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that up. Let's get our let's get our Christmas picture back on here. That looks so great underneath the lamp too. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Garland's going up, baby. Baby. Have a holly jolly garland. Okay, look at that. Hello, hello, Garland. Welcome to the party. Nice. You want, should I put the, this end, the stubby end? On the other side. On the other side? Yeah. Did you feel sick after you ate two of these cookies yesterday? No. No? Oh, yeah. Huh? No, I didn't. You didn't. Kind of cute how, like, mm -hmm. you could probably pull more spring down. Yeah, I want it to be more like that. Yeah. What is Garland? Let me just snip some of these lines. It's just tree. That they put together. Yeah. It just has all these little lights. It's, kind of... it's a bunch of branches they just like tie together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like how big that. So just snip these? Yeah, the nice hole in the direction you're looking at. Oh, we're good. So the garland comes like all raveled in like wire and we're just like snipping it every so often. So it kind of falls more like naturally and like come, comes over the mantle and it lays a little bit flatter. Give me a cut right here. Cutting it a little bit, cutting off the string. There you go. Cute. Mm -hmm. I love how like natural it looks. Mm -hmm. And like not perfect. I'm into the, I'm into the unperfect vibe. Good job, babe. You're a good uh, garland snipper. You're better at cutting garland than you are my hair. Wow, that already looks freaking phenomenal. Love it! Next, we're gonna do, oh, did you show them this? This already looks amazing. So now I'm gonna do a piece of garland that goes on this. I'm gonna use the staple gun to attach it to, to there. So we're gonna see how that goes. Can you 
hold the one end for me or just like kind of like yeah. hold it while I go up? And then for this, we need to make sure we are, have the kind Can of... Can we make it kind of like... Yeah. Like that? Yeah. But it kind of like fills it. Well, I don't... I think or do you want to do like a hang down? Or like yeah, below? Yeah, like, not all the way. Just like, just like that? Yeah, like not like perfectly straight across. Okay, hold on. So kind of like lower on this one? Yeah, like that over here maybe? Don't make it go up actually yet. Make it go down a little bit, yeah. And then the last one will make it go up. Okay, so keep this one down. Yeah. So do you know how it always is after the holidays? We can take down all the decorations and you're like, it's so good. Right here is good? Yep. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, this garland on the beam turned out so cute. Pretty obsessed with that. Kinda wanna keep it all year long, so. So cute. We love. We did it kind of like. I don't know how to put it, it's not like perfect. Yeah. And like with the fresh garland and it's like kind of like coming out like, I don't know. It looks so natural. Just growing there. It's just growing there, Why? <laughs> All right, so you guys saw we picked up this pillow from Home Goods. It had a really pretty little beading detail. So this little hello fall. No more. This is not a comfy pillow, by the way. It's really like crunchy. That's a little cutie pillow. The beading detail is so pretty. It says December 25th. And it's just driving through the snowy little path. I really had to show you guys that spot because of the sun, but just a little nook. These are our stocking holders. We've had these for a couple years now, I think. but this is our first. Maybe we got these last year, I don't remember. Yeah, maybe it was last year. Wait, where should they go? Like maybe a little bit more in, yeah. Both of them? Yeah. Like that? So where's center here? Uh, okay, the one on the left needs to go more in. Uh, I put it on the other side of that branch, like in between those. Uh -huh, I think that's about equal because this is center. Yeah. So cute. Cute. This one now can probably go a little, little bit. And now? Our first mantle. Stockings. Fireplace mantle with stockings. Cute. Is, how cute is that? Are you serious? Cute Gotta get the steam route for that one. Yeah. Wow. Adorable. Uh, did you show them the candles? Oh, no. So we got some candlesticks up here too. Three on each side. Is this the final mantle then? No. We oh, don't. the star garland. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be so freaking. And then I was gonna tie like the black bows on this. Oh yeah, that's gonna be. Uh, we have that. We have that. If you wanna start making bows. Yeah. Okay, Delaney's gonna make some bows. I'm going to. Should I start layering the? Or I guess I'll do that all in the mantle. But so we're gonna do garland up and down this mantle, or what do you call it? Bannister, yes, yeah, so we're gonna do garland up and down the bannister. And I'm, this is that's where I'm gonna layer the eucalyptus and the live garland, or real garland. We're going ham on the garland. Right, Clayton's having a little bit of anxiety attack. 100 feet of garland <laughs> is going in this house. In this 100 square foot house. Okay, so we're gonna do this guy next. Okay, so we showed you our inspiration for this so I only want it to go off of one side so it doesn't even have to go on the yeah like that's good okay I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna secure this okay oh yeah w what should we do is tax good for that or those like sticky things the like hook things that people use yeah I got some of those okay be careful that picture doesn't come crashing down I'll just walk away just walk away just walk away how's that look though good just walk away just walk away just that's it that was it that was the decor Walk away. It's not gonna hold it. Okay. <laughs> I'll come back. <laughs> Where'd you put the ribbon? The ribbon is here. There's so much green happening. I just made everyone dizzy. Okay. <laughs> gonna make some bows with this black velvet ribbon to go like on our stocking. Okay, so I'm making the bows and I don't have the patience to go look up how to make a nice bow. So <laughs> I'm just like making this up. Ow, ow, ow. I took an extra piece of ribbon and just put it over the little bow ears. I think that looks cute. I'm gonna staple it now. Or is that a bad idea? If I staple it, what's gonna happen? Can I staple grab oh. it? <laughs> what do you think? Good idea. I'm a little hot. Oh, 
perfect, but it's okay. It's my bow. We're gonna go shape it. So that looks nice. Is that good idea? Yep. Cute. Is it cute? Should I make it shorter? Woohoo! I swear. Never seen a Christmas house quite like this. I. Well, maybe you'd look it up. Because it should be a double bow. You know what they do? Okay. Can you look it up with me? <laughs> she got no patience. I want to make a cute bow. Large bow. What do you like that one? Just All right, we, we've learned right part of Delaney's learned how to make a bow. I can't do it. Can't I couldn't do it. That's it. Why don't there is your ribbon. Um, you you want to? Why don't ours that? look like that? The end. Look at you. She did a double. How did that there happen? There is your ribbon. She did a double. You gotta keep going. Um, you wanna, that's gonna be Bring that one over here. Want a double or no? This is gonna come down for a tail. Okay. You think it needs to be double? We're gonna leave it right there at that. So I that think it looks nice. Where'd it, so where'd it go? Go anywhere. In the middle. Mm -hmm. And you'll place your rolled piece right in the middle. Alrighty. Fix the. Why is it so uneven? You're gonna have to cut it. He'll cut, the, he'll cut it to make it look even. If the, are these. These are not even even with each other. Why, why is this one so much longer? All right, making a bow is honestly so hard. This is a simple freaking bow too. Come on, bow. How's that? Babe, this is so short, is it oh, not? That's... <laughs> okay, now we cut these little bits. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was wild. Here we are, bow master herself. It was oh, oh. a lot harder than it looks, so I'll tell you that much. You want to just cut that one? Yep. Ta-da! Nice touch, babe. Yeah, it's a good touch. I like it. Beautiful. Good? Mm-hmm. Cute. Great, hey, kiddo. All right, so do you want this to be like railing vibes? Or do you want like droop vibes? Droop. Droop vibes? Droop vibes. Okay. And then you see that you post this in there? Oh, yeah. How do you like it? All right, well, are you going to weave it at all? Yeah, or yeah, is it just yeah. going to be on top of each I'm other? Weave it. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, and then we're gonna do the bows. Yeah, the burlap bows. <gasps> oh. Okay, so you want I it. I won't paradise. You want a droop, droop-tastic. Droop-tastic. Okay, we're gonna do that. Okay. Let's chewing on some buggers up there. Getting the buggers out of my bag. Oh, that's cute. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so chewing on some buggers. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Okay, and then we're gonna do the buggers. Yeah, like that. Pin it at the top. Of both of those. And let it fall No. No, okay. It's gonna make a U right there. Yep. And it'll finish like that. Yep. Like that. Yep. Okay, alright. Okay. We need to work. What are you gonna use to secure it? Zip ties? Yeah, zip ties. You want me to come help you? Yeah, you can put the home video vibe. Do you want to do this on the mirror, maybe? No. The mirror's gonna have a lot of lights reflecting, but the mirror will have a lot of lights because of the tree. I have to go to work. It's kind of been lovely. I, I gotta go right now. I'm sorry. I gotta go. I was mid banister decorating and this one came and swept me away for a walk. You can't go a single sunset without a walk. I swear. Sunset in the morning. It's Please. good. Though. It's Love good to get me up. some walk. So while we're walking, we see lots of dogs. Yeah. Tons and tons of dogs. And ever since we hung out with Goose, we've been talking about dogs a little bit more. We want, we want Goose. We want goose, so we're gonna, try, we're gonna try to get goose. Send him over for a summer. No, I'm just kidding. But I think we really want a dog. Andy and Uncle C's. <laughs> send him over. Literally, can you send me goose for a month? Seriously, but I think we want a dog. Okay, we. Yeah. We can get one. Yeah. Seriously, we go through this like every single week. Like, can we get a dog? Should we get a dog? Yeah. I hear a dog barking right now. Maybe that's a sign that you should get a dog. What's he saying? 
I want a friend. Aww. I want a neighbor. No, no but we go through because we work so much or. Well, now we really want a Vishla because we hung out with yeah. Goose and I love how like close to humans they like to be. I never met a dog that was like quite as obsessed as that. And they're known as like the Velcro dog. Yeah. Like that is literally a characteristic of them. So that is I'm pretty ideal. obsessed with that now. That's what we like most about dogs is cuddling. But now. Also, since we've met Goose for the first time, we obviously loved it, but now I see them way more here. Vishlas. Yeah. Yeah. Not goose. Yeah. <laughs> um, I see so many vishlas now, and it's not so many. It's like the same ones. Like there's a few that there's live. There's like in, three. I think. There's like three that live in our neighborhood that yeah. I notice now. They're so cute. I used to follow, never notice them. Now we follow the vishlas on Instagram. So. Yeah. But the thing with vishlas is they have a lot of energy. Like goose is older now, so he doesn't like need as much. But they said when he was a puppy, it was insane. Yeah. And I guess that's pretty standard. Our yard is really really small and we love to travel. We're obviously not traveling a lot this year, Yeah. but we do love to travel. We don't want to just like get a dog and board it all the time or like have someone else watch it all the time because that seems like defeating the purpose. And then we work like a lot and sometimes we're like driving all day or just like, I don't know. We still go on walks every day. We go on walks every day, usually every like two out. walks away. I mean two walks Two away. walks away. We could probably carve out more time to, if we want to take them to go and play a little fetch. Yeah. But, but it's definitely just a huge commitment. Yeah, and sometimes, like, we don't even eat lunch because we're working so much or, like, yeah. so busy. So I'm just wondering, like, what the heck happens to the dog on those days? Like, I just don't want to be, like, a bad dog parent. No, but I think once you get the dog, you change your, like, you obviously you prioritize sense. and you make some sacrifices and you make sure they're okay and happy and fed and... Well, yeah, Exercise. we would do that. But I don't know. I think it'd be worth it. Yeah. It could be so fun. It's just like when we are allowed to travel again, like we'll probably go somewhere every month. So that's kind of a bad dog thing, I feel like. Yeah. And this just put in perspective like, you know, you're not always going to have the privilege to travel if you want to. So you like it made it motivates me to travel more than we used to even because it's like you never know when you're not going to be able to again. Yeah. Like we almost went to Japan multiple times. We never did. Yeah. And now we can't. We're not even allowed to go there right now, which yeah. is like I don't know. Yeah. So I. But also, this could be. I'm going to be traveling a lot. So. Okay. Well, we'll touch base. <laughs> Let me know when and where you're going. But it could be a, a perfect time to get a dog because we still might not be able to travel for another. I know, but dogs last longer yeah, than Yeah, yeah, but here. just the puppy stage. No, but I don't want to be like, I still care about my dog when yeah, it's older. Yeah, of course. And the puppy three. stage is like three years, Juge said. Three years? That's what that Juge said. She said it's like really like hyper, like it needs a lot of extra for like three years. Yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I want a dog. I want a dog too. Well then we have to. Uh, Ideally. Yeah. Like I want a dog, I want a baby, and... Do you want a baby? Well, yeah, if it didn't have like all the implications of having a baby. Do I want to carry like 40 extra pounds no. for a couple months? No. Do I want to give birth? No, not really. No. It sounds really scary. Yeah. No, 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 no. And so the same thing is... Do I want a dog to cuddle every night and take on my walks and look into its eyes and talk to it and have fun with? Yes. Do I want to leave my dog every month when I go travel and pay some stranger to take care of him? No. Do I want to schedule in like walking my dog when I like don't even have time to eat lunch or like get what's on my to-do list done? No. I think she thinks about things too much. I Ideally, I want a dog. Ideally, I want a baby. Yeah, Ideally, I want like so many different things. But the reality of all those things, I haven't actually committed to. Got it. Well, you let me know when you're ready, and I'll get the beach up. No, but I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm just going to say it. Put it out there. Okay. Get it. Really? Yeah. Seriously. Sure. Really? Yeah, you're ready. You wouldn't care if I got a dog? No, you have to do all the work though. Okay. And I will cuddle it. Okay. <laughs> like, I, I want a dog, but you really gonna get one? 
Right? But I, I might want tattoos more than I want a dog. Oh, wow. We are going through some life changes over here. Can you get fully tatted? No, I want a dog. Dog for I want sure. a dog too. I want a small size feet shot. Me too. Why would it? Fishy. Okay, well seriously, it's a hot conversation over here. Uh, it's a hot conversation over here. Delaney is caving, it sounds like. Caving? You make it sound no. like I don't want a dog. She's leaning into it? No, I'm not leaning into anything. No, she's not caving or leaving. You're just being very No, I'm just thought saying, out. if you want the dog right now and you're ready for it, then you do it. I'm going to think about that right now. <laughs> then that I'll, I told you, I'll take all the good parts. Like, I'm ready for all the good parts. Well, honestly, I'm going to clean up its poo. <laughs> no, I'm ready for all the happy parts. I'm not ready. I I don't want to leave it all the time. It's going to be okay. No, I just don't feel good about that. I don't feel that's like a good, like, it's your choice to, it's like having a kid when you're not ready to have a kid and then not being a great parent. What I'm going to tell you, this is how I pick her right now. I know for certain that I can have a dog at any point in my life in the future. Like, no matter what my age is, no matter where I live, no matter what my job is, whatever, I can have a dog. I'm not certain for the rest of my life I'll be able to travel as freely as I can at this stage. So I'm for sure going to take advantage of traveling in the future once I'm allowed to leave this country. <laughs> so I know that. So for me, I'm gonna pick traveling over a dog right now. <laughs> but what if you can't have both? You can't, just that's not the kind of dog mom I picture myself as, and I would like to avoid that if I can. I also know that probably one day I'm gonna have more of a yard than I do now. Which I think makes me really dog mom too. So you don't want a dog? I want a dog. But I want to travel more. You don't want a dog right now. I want a dog right now, but I want to travel more right now. Like if a genie came up to me tomorrow and was like, I can grant you one wish, like do you want to travel the world or have a Vishla? I'd be like, I'll travel the world. So that's what I did. Sorry. <laughs> Not ideally. All right. I'm gonna think about it. We will keep thinking about it. But if you're he fully ready for that, you see <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna uh, accidentally bump into it. Oh, oh okay, I okay. know they're so cute. Oh, it's all good. I mean, I get it. I totally get it. We should try fostering it on. Because yeah. that is kind of like the best of both worlds. And it's gonna be really sad when you have to say. Yeah, of course. Okay, let's get back to decorating. All right, so the kid did an amazing job on the banister. Looks so cute. We took the fresh garland and the eucalyptus, wove them together, and now we have these battery-powered little snowflake lights. We got a close-up so you can see the shape. We don't have a plug on the staircase, so we had to get the battery ones. It worked perfect, and Clayton is very nicely spacing them out. It's just a handy, handy dandy guy to have around. Handy dandy Vishla guy. <laughs> just go get a Vishla, just don't even consult me because no. I am being too logical for sure. You're my lead consultant. What? You're my lead consultant. <laughs> I thought you said you're my leaf and soulmate. What? <laughs> yeah, makes no sense. I okay, kind of wonder, look for... it looks really nice. Is it like spaced out enough? Like yeah. Lights, like it doesn't yeah. Wear it on the end? No. Okay. Kind of want to put some lights in there. Thank okay. You know, why does my TV picture keep turning off? It's really bothering me. All right. Maybe That's there's good. like a timer. Okay. Cute. All right. And we got some bows to go on this situation. These are from Michaels, and they're like a little burlap and gold. They look much nicer than the bows I made. So I'm gonna go do that. Okay, how do I vote? Oh, great. Nice job. Thank you. 
Okay, so for our front door, we also just got garland because we liked the look of, it's gonna be a wreath, but we just kind of like the look of how it's like, how do you describe it, babe? It's just like, like the put together wreaths are almost like so perfect looking. This kind of has a nice little, like I said, it's natural. I think it's very natural looking. So I'm just making it into a circle and then just gonna put it on the door as so. I just wanna show you the wreath as I was making it. So see, that's how it turned out, super simple. Just wrapping it up, giving her a go. Okay. Hey. Gorgeous. I've already vacuumed multiple times, but just keep it real. The mess of this garland <laughs> is like next, level. So next level, but it's okay because it's worth it to us. But like, no joke, this is gonna be interesting to clean up. It doesn't even look that bad, but trust it's just, just everywhere. And garland pieces everywhere. Yep. All right, so we're taking some of the extra garland that we have left over and like stuffing it into some places that aren't as full. So we're just taking the garland and breaking it apart and just using all the random stems and stuff to looks good. Maybe a little in the corner somehow. Yeah. Like put it the other direction. Maybe like just one more piece over here behind these candles. Yeah. It's looking good. It's looking. This is a nice piece of music. Oh, oh. <laughs> there it is on the ground. I'm gonna go investigate what I can do over here. All right, I'm a, I'm a big fountain decorator guy. If you guys remember, I got the pumpkins for the fountain during, yeah. during the fall. And this year, we used... I feel like we should get the little battery lights to go mm -hmm. in that. Yeah, that'd be, that'd really, be cute. really cute. Because I can't really think of what else we could do to like make it look... We have that red and white yarn. What if we got those flowers you were talking about? Oh, yeah. And put them like right here. Yeah. Okay, this is a work in progress, but love the way this looks. Mm -hmm. It's coming together. Super cute. But it won't be fully under. Yeah. So I think we're gonna go pick up our dinner. We just ordered out since we were decorating. And clean up. Yeah, we have to clean. And then we still have to wait for some things to come. We have a couple of finishing pieces, but we are gonna do a full a holiday decor um, house tour during vlogmas so that will be on the channel later once everything is just picture perfect the trees here yeah everything um so stay tuned for that because it's gonna be so cute so festive so fun and i have one more thing i'm gonna go grab and put in the bedroom those little things all right clean did this banister as well looks so cute eucalyptus and fresh garland and then we got these little like faux pine cone cranberry mistletoe type vibe to go in our bedroom on our sconces we don't really have christmas decor in our bedroom but i just thought that some like little bit would be fun but we have to figure out how to secure them so clayton is currently like digging up some um, string, I think, in his little toolbox. We're gonna put them on our skulls. Okay, okay. Oh, it's so cute. 2020 been a hell of a year. It's time to sit back, relax, spread some cheer. D plus the kid, have no fear. It's the most magical time of the year. Garland stockings, hot cocoa. Egg dog, Santa, and the reindeer. Coffee breath, morning walks, that's us though. 25 days, that's Vlogmas, baby. Baby. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.